th this video explain example uh, for the for the beam under bending so the question uh, example is after confirming that the section is compact determining the design moment capacity of a 503 universal beam 92 bent about the strong axis and with full lateral restraint so first we need to find the plate element slenderness before uh, now in the step one we like to extract some dimension of the steel eye sections which is 530 ub 92 now we need to use the one steel table for this case and we are going on page number 14 on page number 14 we are looking for 530 ub 92.4 where you have uh, informations about d and d is the depth which is um, which is if I if I put it here in this fashion so 530 UB 530 UB 92.4 and we have D value 533 millimeter 533 millimeter uh, BF 209 millimeter BF 209 millimeter TF 15.6 TF 15.6 and that is TW is 10.2 all the info notation of this one is given given here now uh, that is on one still on page number 14 um, not only that uh, i also uh, wants to put that dimension on the on the on the i-beam to feel about what is look like like 209 millimeter is your is the is the width of the flange which is 209 thickness of the flange is 10 15.6 depth is 533 millimeters and dw is 10.2 the 2 millimeters now once we extract those informations we can calculate the slenderness of the flange outstand so that is outstand so what i'm talking about outstand is the one that is just uh, just uh, coming out of this one if i show it in the i beam so that's uh, uh, outstand is the one which is which is just these portions in the flange uh, in that case we need to uh, know this b value how do we able to find this b value 209 uh, take away 10.2 so that is 10.2 and divided by 2 which is 99.4 so that is 99.4 millimeters um, thickness of the flange that is b that we calculated 99.4 thickness of the flange is 15.6 now this equations to calculate the um, um, yield slender this equation is to calculate the slenderness of the of the flange so that is for flinch and that equation is given in section 5.2.2 on page number 10 page number 50 on as4100 so b on t f y on 250 so that is b on t f y on 250 d we calculated 99.4 thickness is um, we have 15.6 millimeters now this f y 300 for flinch uh, if you flip on the page uh, that's we check on page number 14 if you turn it over on page number 15 we can find this 530 ub and for flinch we have a 300 megapascals uh, uh, yield stress so that's uh, yield stress 300 megapascals over 250 calculation given seven now plastic standardness limit and yield standardness limit uh, for the flinch in my last video we take the we take this example five uh, table number 5.2 and as mentioned for the flange we have a hot roll section all ones all universal beam are hot rolled and it has a lambda ep value of 9 lambda ey value of 16 lambda ep 9 lambda ey 16 so uh, check check the notation here lambda s value should be less than lambda sp so if it is less than this ep we have a compact section in between non-compact and is greater than 16 is um, is a slender section so lambda e is a1 which is less than this one so flange is a uh, flange is compact and that is given here that lambda s value less than lambda p that is uh, that is compact now let's uh, take about uh, about let's talk about the web so that is web and in this one we need to have this b and t so calculation of b would be 533 so that is 533 given uh, in the figure that is 533 take away take away these two uh, so two times 15.6 which gives us this value which is 508.5 thickness of the web 
so uh, again now we need to know the uh, ill strength of the web um, fy so on page number uh, 15 uh, on the one still tables we have a uh, 530 ub and for web it is 320 megapascals so that is 320 megapascals substitute the value b equal to 508.18 10.2 320 on 250 so we get 55.6 now we just need to find the plasticity limits and yield limits which is 82 so if you go back in the table here and in table 5.2 this line is for web uh, explained in last video which has 82 for ep and ey is lambda ey is 115 again less than 82 give a compact between these two gives them uh, non-compact and greater than 115 give the slanders that is test notation is given given here like less than less than p is compact between uh, between this uh, p and uh, y is uh, non-compact and greater than uh, y is the is a slender so in here 55.6 is less than 82 so the wave is compact so both since the wave and flange both are compact the section classifies as a compact now we need to calculate the effective section modulus we have three equations now once we classify the section is compact we need to calculate the effective section modulus using these three different sections but now we found that the section is compact so we can find the effective section modulus will be lesser of s and 1.5 z so um, in that case z is equal to s 1.5 z that is in the close 5.2.3 close 5.2.3 on page number 51 now s value that we are going to find it using this um, one steel table here and if i have if i have this one here 513 ub 92 and we have s value of um, of 2370 Two, three, seven. There are two S value. One for about x axis. One for about y axis. Now it says in the questions that that it's it's a strong axis. So it's a, it's about x axis. So we are just taking the S x value two three zero, not y value. So two three seven zero, uh, ten to the power three. Please note we have a ten to power three uh, written here on the top. So we are taking to take ten to the power three. Uh, that I substitute here z value again about x axis that is um, uh, z value is 2080 for zx so and that is again have a 10 to the power 10 to the power 3 now that substitute here we need to take the minimum of this one the minimum value would be 2370 times 10 to the power 3 now once we calculate this one we need to calculate design section moment capacity so first nominal section moment capacity that is q1 on on page number 15 section 5.2.1 nominal section capacity ms denoted by ms is equal to fyze fy 300 now we have two fy as you have known fy has a two value minimum of fy for web um, say flange and fy for web now minimum of flange has a value of 300 and we have 320 so we are taking minimum value 300 megapascal so that is 300 because as i as you as if you turn at page here we have two value here for 530 ub 92 we have 300 megapascal 320 we need to take the minimum of these two so that is a 300 megapascal substitute here zd we calculated just now which is which is 2370 times 10 to the power 3 that substitute here uh, but give you value in newton millimeters um, newton millimeters divided by 1000 skews in the meter again divide by 1000 skews kilonewton meters now we need to calculate a design section moment capacity so multiplying 5 which is safety factors now the design section moment capacity we just multiply by the safety factor for steel which is 0 0.9 with the ms that's give us 640 kilonewton so that's your 640 kilonewton answer thank you